I find the ergonomics a little bit cramped for me, but that's typical Lambretta. So that when I'm going around, you know, particularly here, I've got my knees right under all the switches. Um, and I don't feel right sitting any further back because there's a, there's a gap in the thing. <laughs> it feels sturdier than a, than a Scamardi, and it handles quite neutrally. It's nice. I can actually see the mirrors as well. The mirrors are right, not bad. I'll cut my elbow in a little bit. We're getting a bit of info. So it's giving me engine RPM, speed, odo, fuel, and temperature all in one digital dash, as well as a load of idiot lights. Um, underneath, underneath the Royal Alloy, I think so. If these speedos don't leak, I've got to say that's a, a pretty good dash design, something that looks quite retro. I've done a decent job of that. Yeah, it's not as not as awful as I as, as I was expected to be honest. No, same here. Um, I was expecting the frame to be a lot flexier, but they've obviously done something to stiffen it up because it's it's not it doesn't feel like it's bending. It's going over bumps, like you say. The front's not bad. The back's a bit stiffer than yeah. the GTS, I'd say. Well, it might just be that you've got a thinner seat, so I'm getting a bit more pummeling in my back. I don't know, is there space for someone behind me there, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, plenty of yeah, space. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sat that no. far back. So if I sit further back, then I've got my knees out of the way of the bars. Yeah. But then I've got to put my feet in a different place as well. I can imagine the Series 2 one's going to be if I sell like hot cakes. Definitely. It's going to make a massive difference to GTS sales, I think. Do you reckon? Yeah. How many How many GTS sell in a year now? Not a lot. I think Not a lot, a few hundred. Last, I think last year about 280, I think. All right, yeah, that's what I thought about 300. So there's probably, there's not many people buying them for commuting anymore. They're so easy to steal, yeah. aren't they? Certainly didn't tell, did it? It don't feel twitchy at all, does it? No, not it's even, quite not dry, even when it? it's wet. No. You've got an advantage, you've got a screen as well, haven't you? So yeah. That'll give you a little speed advantage, won't it? So. I think the three brake horsepower is probably better for it. I would have thought the old GTS, though, to be very close. You reckon, yeah? Yeah. It's just not quite as practical for commuting. But the Lexio no. toolbox ain't that small, is it? So no. it's pretty exercise, isn't it? A bit bigger, perhaps. Yeah, that's what I mean. So I'm, I'm thinking about how much extra. Yeah. You know, you can get waterproofs and bits and bobs. There's no helmet going in either of them, is there? So certainly a rally tool, though, isn't it? Hey, oh, definitely, yeah. Be good fun, actually. Yeah. And see it's the. Uh, like Ubi Doo tyres that no one's heard of, they handle alright today, don't they? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it's a bit harder at the front of the GTS. Yes. So it's fully, well, I'm, I'm indicating 64 into a proper headwind uphill. I'm, I'm uh, 57. 57, yeah. Alright, so it's talking live. Ready to go, whoa, whoa, you're going to be up there, up there. Yeah, it changed, didn't it? <laughs> it's time. Yeah, it's a time. This is saying 68. What's your say? 59. That's it. Terrific difference. See there, I've got my feet quite flat on the floor, which is unlike Scamadis used to be. So I'm only five foot ten. It's quite a bit shorter the seat height, which is good because a lot of people always complain that they were struggling to get the feet down. Picks up really well this. Now the 300's got revised suspension. Whereas the original Scamadis and the early Royal Oys, or Royal Oys up until this model, they always uh, had very little travel on the suspension, which made them feel a bit stiff on the front end. There's no giving the suspension at all. Whereas this one feels quite plush. I was very impressed, really. This uses a derivative of the old pre HP Vespa GTS engine. And as far as we know, it's made in China. We're not quite sure who's making it. The casting's different to a Piaggio engine. So visually it's slightly different. I've took the panels off on this and you can't quite see really who the uh, fuel injection system's made by. 
don't know if it's magnetic really or not, but it's a bit hard to say. There's just a barcode on it with Royal Oi GP300. So whether it's the same fuel in or not, I don't know. All I can say is it's nice and smooth. It feels like a GTS engine. Picks up really well. I'm going to speed test it in a bit, just see what it actually does. Uh, but so far, I can't say there's, there's much to criticise. Would I swap a GTS for one of these? Mm, probably not. Would I swap a GTS for the uh, Series 2 lookalike that's coming late this year? Mm, maybe. There's quite a big difference in styling for me. Um, I really like the wide styled Umbrettas and having a Series 2 lookalike with a GTS style engine that will do 75, 80 mile an hour straight out of the box is quite a good thing to have. Some might say it's overpriced and I'd probably be one of them. Maybe if it came in at 3899 instead of 4899 then you can see that you're buying something Chinese that may not have that longevity, the build quality, the history, the European manufacture of a Piaggio based product. But when it's the same price, it's sort of a bit hard to um, put them in the same league really. Having said that, it is a very good scoop. It feels nice and comfortable. Handles, brakes are good, ABS, would it end up being Euro 5 or not, once Euro 5 comes in in January, not sure, can't be too hard to uh, make this engine Euro 5 that I once thought, all in all, it's quite a good scoop. I can do though. I don't think it's bad at all, no. uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lot better than I was expecting. Same here. I could ride that too, man.